Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And, and tonight, and cats, and your newest cats. <clears throat> Hi, Atari. You gonna mess with the sign again tonight? Please yeah, don't. He's like, please, I, I would like already to. Primed. I would like to chew on Bernie, please. No. I would like to have Bernie as my ap um, appetizer <laughs> for today's uh, no. meal. No. Yes. We're gonna be playing some Atari Yay! 8 bit games tonight. <laughs> Switch that out. Uh, tonight we're going to be playing Dungeon <laughs> Adventure, a new game, 2024. Uh, we're going to be playing Major Blink from 2021 nice. and Laura from 2018. Nice. nice. I think I didn't play Laura back then, one, because we didn't play Atari 8-bit games. True. Yes. And two, uh, it was in Polish at first, and uh, three, it's PAL only. So. Oh. <laughs> There were a number of reasons why it wasn't played in 2018. Yeah, so th yes. there's an English version now. I have a PAL machine now, nice, so nice. we can play it now. Good stuff. Bernie must fall. <laughs> Look, at that's, that's, Look at him. That's what he says. Look at him. That's what he's thinking. Bad. His tiny little cat brain. Yeah. No. No, no, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> but before we get into the games, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Hey, hey, leave Bernie alone. Oh, oh. protest. <laughs> No, it's not your right. You're a silly cat. Get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Ipipode, Aldefer, Andrew, Atari, Arkham H7, Arms Car Coder, Atari 800, XL Worlds, Atari 74, Atari H, Atari Maxima, Beef Spring, Beer Poker, Bruno Stex, Chelsea, Donnie Mel, Charles Wynn, Chitlala, Cole Patch, Sienna Reboot, Dianoid, Dan of C, Devil Adana, DJ Lemon Fresh, Drex, Old Dr. Mook, House, Gamma Dev, Gray Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Kibido Kenzo, Carl G, Karakak, Croc2600, Gavaltifer, Lambda Express, Morgana, Sparks by Sing, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, McAtel, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Zarnu, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, and Amina, Nostalgic, Pack Rob, Peak B, Koag, or Antro, it's RC70, Rendered Ghost, Revan, Tulip, Ricardo, Pim, Broadcaster, Six Sweets, Mitty B, Spice, Whereas, Spindly, S. Ramirez, D Train, Tiki Dan, KTM Events, Trek, MD, Vex, Rex, Vintage Game and Memories, VVD, Double Down, X, Ken, X, Yay! and you can get your name on that list too if you subscribe. Or if you don't want to subscribe, you can just follow the channel. It'll tell you when we're broadcasting. If you have it installed on your phone or turn on some options on the computer version, which I discovered the other day because somebody was asking, um, you can set it to alert you um, in the browser. Or you can uh, subscribe on YouTube and then you can watch it later on YouTube if you're not in the right time zone that we are. Mm -hmm. uh, gonna make an, up an unpronounceable account and subscribe for a month with it. And there you go. Pooh. We'll just call it the account formerly known as Cyrano. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now we know it's you. You've given like, away your secret. I didn't know you could use emojis in an account. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Yes, that's right. Funny little symbols. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, random Polish name. Always a challenge, yes. Uh, there's a bunch of random Polish names tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Not so random. They belong to people. Nice. Um, but I have the pronunciation. Yay! We're going <laughs> to try it out. People can tell me how poorly I pronounce them. <laughs> uh, news. Uh, the sixth annual. Do you have your thing? Nope. Go run. Oh. Get it. The sixth annual Homebrew Awards nominations are now complete. It's over. The votes have been cast. The nominations have been completed. Just uh, doing, adding them all up right now, seeing who the top six are, and the uh, public voting, all the voting, starts this Friday. We're going to be announcing uh, the nominees, top six in each category for all the systems, 2600, 7800, 5200, 8-bit, Jaguar, Lynx, we'll see the best of the best as voted on by the nomination committee, and then you, everyone, can vote. Absolutely everyone. And speaking of the Atari Homebrew Awards, yeah. Tanya's been... Got uh, an exclusive work, unveiling. Uh, an exclusive <laughs> sort of, sort unveiling of. of the new uh, version Yes. Of the award. Now... It is just a mock-up. It's not an actual award yet, because no. we don't know the names yet. Of yeah, we don't know who's won. Um, we, last year, we did a 3D print of it, <laughs> of the award. 
And yes. the 3D print had texture to it. Oh, God. It and it was not a good ass. texture. It was very texturous. Yeah. We tried our best, and you kind of tried to fill it in, oh, oh. but it got rounder and rounder on the corners. It, it, there were a lot of issues trying to get a mold that I could use to pour the resin yeah. awards, so that... Mm. And they looked pretty good, but we wanted to do better this year. Yes. So we got them professionally printed. Um, the blank, essentially. The blank. Um, so that we could make proper sharp edged molds from it. Yes. And this is kind <laughs> of the first yes, one I, that you would say is I hope good. it's okay. I hope it's okay. I haven't seen it. I haven't even pulled it apart. So you get to see it. Failure. So or if there success. are any if there are any flaws, I mean it's something to work on is all I'm gonna say. But yeah. I hope it worked out. It looks like it should have. So okay. do yeah. you wanna go up to the sure. cat cam? Yeah, and let's do it? go up to the cat cam. Here's my mold. Can you see it? Yep. Yeah, you see it? Yep. That's pretty good. Yep. Okay, we're going to peel it apart out of the silicone mold. So how do you make this? Well, I, okay, so I used the acrylic blank that you had to pour the mold, and then I poured it in layers. Oh, see, there's still texture on it. Well, show the camera. Up closer. Up close. Oh, Tilt close. it. Oh, it is texturous. There we go. No, there's Turn it around on the so it's right way up. It's upside down. Do, there we on. go. Let me just put this yeah. There's a little. It's there's a little bit of film on it. It just needs to be cleaned. I think actually. Uh, tilt it. There, there we go. go. Sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. Yeah. Very nice. So it's still a work in progress. It's got some sparkles in the black. Yeah. Like a space theme, and of course gold because they are winners. Yep. Looks yummy. Do not bite. Do not chew on. <laughs> Will not taste good. Won't taste like anything. It'll just break your teeth, probably. So, okay. Greasy. Mm. Sit down. Anyway, I think that's the silicone. James, always directing the talent. Well, I got to keep them in line. Uh, direct the cats. Mm. Direct the Tanyas. Mm. Yep. Something funny about the silicone. Yeah. I might have to buy a new silicone to make them old. Ah. Um, so it'll be better than that. And that's already very, very good. Um, so I've started up my Atari 2600 programming again. Mm -hmm. um, I've completed 90% of the pseudocode for my first game. Um, pseudocode. Pseudocode. Tanya <laughs> learned what that was. Um, uh, and I've switched which game I was going to port. Yeah. It, it is a port of an existing game. Um, the other one was very complicated. I was aiming very high. This one is very simple in comparison, like just vastly more simple. Um, but it is still incredibly fun game. Simple, 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 but fun. Um, so it will be a Atari 2600 game because that's my first love uh, is the 2600. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it should be pretty simple to make. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to have to use... Um, some flicker at parts okay. in the game, okay. but just just a minor bit of it. So it's like not simple but fun. Simple and fun. Simple yes. for me to program. Simple to play and fun. He's yes, he, is he? You got to tell us because we can't see when he's <laughs> uh, sticker in the resin. It's um, what it's, is it? In it's the a resin? clear transparency with toner and then a gold foil that gets imprinted on the toner. Transfer foil. It's, it's yeah, it's a transfer foil for yeah. it that transfers onto the toner. It yes, turns sticker, out quite nicely. Sticker midway pour. So you pour. Yeah. A layer. So it's it's there's not actually adhesive on it. Yeah. It's just cut. It's not a sticker. It's not really a sticker, but it's kind of like sticking a sticker in it. But yeah, I'm I'm, st I'm sitting here staring, going, "What the heck is on the surface of this thing?" <laughs> You'll figure it out. I don't know what's going um, on with so it. So here is the um, a sneak preview, also as well right. of the promo. Yes. For the sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards, mm -hmm. um, and I'll be posting that when the vote voting starts. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty four categories. Up from 22 categories. We've added additional Atari 8 bit categories, so mm. it's appropriate to talk about them. Yeah. We've separated them into original and ports this year for both completed and works in progress. But uh, yeah, that's the blank you can see on the screen. So that's what that is molded from. And that's our carpet on the floor. <laughs> uh, and the colors have been tweaked because that's not the actual color of the carpet. Yeah. Uh, oh, the 10 line's coming up. It's coming up. It's uh, coming up now, actually. So, uh, 10 liner contest for 2024 is happening. 
Uh, thank you to Vitoko who alerted me to that. Uh, the deadline for submissions, March 16th, 2024. So that's nice in the clear from the Atari Homebrew Awards. So exactly. we don't have to, we'll, we'll be able to do them on the day they're, they're released mm -hmm. or after they're released, uh, the award ceremony, uh, Saturday, April 6th. So we'll be playing all the winners or all of them actually, um, after that date. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, Vitoko is going to enter his in as well. Let's just go take a look at, let's translate from German to English. <laughs> and uh, four categories, uh, 80 characters, nice. each each uh, each line for 10 lines. They're all 10 lines. Mm -hmm. 120 characters, 256 characters, and another 256 characters, and it can be a demo tool a demo. or application. So not necessarily not a, a game. game. Okay. Yeah. So cool, those cool, first cool, three cool. Are, are games. Oh, English in the second half of the page. Oh, okay. Well, then what did it do here? Didn't do anything to it. English translated to English. <laughs> um, it probably the same, same-ish rules every year. They've been going for a long time. Mm. Um, since 2015, I'm sure they've got the rules down pat. Mm. We're still slightly slightly tweaking ours every year for the atari homebrew awards but not much now mm -hmm. it's mostly in um the voting for the nomination committee where you terminology kind of some changes yeah. here and there yeah yeah so looking forward to that that's always very creative games mm -hmm. come out of the basic 10 liner contest so looking forward to playing those games um what else uh that's it for the news okay so let's get into the games yeah. now the Bring first on. game coming up is dungeon adventurer uh this is by uh daniel kosminski and uh piotr uh svercht svercht no, i'm doing it wrong see i that I, that looks ap approximately S correct svercht svercht yeah, because I what I do is I put them into Google and mm. it tells me here's a pronunciation of it and it's actual people pronouncing it, which is good. Polish people, yes, that pronouncing is good. It. And then I uh, put it phonetically in English, but sometimes it makes sense at the time. But then I look back at it, and, and like, then you don't know what phonetically what? you wrote. Yes, what did I write? <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's uh, let's load up that game and we will talk about it. Mm. That was uh, quite a shock to the system there. Yeah, usually I <laughs> already have it on. This is annoying me. I need to polish this up. It is something on the surface. Oh. I'm going to clean it. Hold on. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to no. clean it. It's you making me crazy. Clean it after. Hide it from yourself. No. It needs to be cleaned. Okay. You need to participate in the show. Okay, okay. <laughs> show, show. I want to do my resin. Okay. I know you do. <laughs> Okay. Uh, today's date, as the always. 30th. Which one are we starting with again? Was it Dungeon Adventure? <laughs> she doesn't listen. I don't. It's uh, Dungeon Thinking Adventure. About resin. Yeah. <laughs> resin, 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 resin. And like these guys who are like treats, treats, treats. treats. Are you playing games, treats? So this build is from January twenty first, twenty twenty four. That's really loud. <laughs> it is not bong resin, old style. <laughs> no, not that kind of resin. Um, 25k XEX, um, it says Tatku, Tatku and I have finished work on the Dungeon Adventure, the game that took part in the game compo at Last Party 2024. Changes compared to the party version include a removal of quite a few bugs, so actually we'll go to H for help so we can learn about the game. Nice fade. Mm -hmm. In distant lands lived a brave knight named, uh, Reynard? And Lorraine. <laughs> de Lorraine. Oh, <laughs> Reynard de Lorraine. Uh, known for his fearlessness and willingness to serve justice. One day he was given a mission by the king of Palnor to traverse the mysterious dungeons. It's always dungeons. Uh, that ha hid forgotten treasures in their depths. The people of the kingdom had high hopes for him, trusting in his ability to overcome all odds. So these are the things in the game. Okay. Hourglass resets your time. Nice. Sword kills the bats on contact. Sounds sounds good to get. Yep. Shield. Just bats though. Just bats. Just bats. <laughs> Shield provides protection from the bats. Once. 
<laughs> uh, map allows you to see the dungeon for a few seconds. Okay. Uh, and that is the entrance to the next level. Okay. It's, you, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yep. Collecting items is automatic. You just need to enter the field where they're located. Hourglasses, shields, and maps do not disappear from the map. They can be collected several times, but only one can be carried. Mm. Uh, the sword can only be picked up once and disappears after use. This has got a single use. It's a single use sword. Uh, you can use the M key to turn music on or off during the game. Mm. What an insult to uh, tat Tatku. <laughs> off. Uh, game by New Generation, code D E L Y and soundtrack Tatku. First shown the last part. Press any key for a title screen. So go for it. Sometimes it's dragons. See what says. Okay. So you're at the top left, and your time is going down. So it is a dark maze. Oh boy. So that's good so you can know where to get the... Oh, um, did I die? No. Nope. So you've got the shield. And you've got the sword, so you're protected from the bat. Now you reset your time. Now you need to get to the exit before your time runs out. Away from the exit. Oh, dead end. You, troublemaker, come here. Oh, well, back. So, for those who haven't seen the game yet, breathe. Intro: twenty levels to complete. Did your time stop when you do that? No, nope, still counts down. You're almost dead. Oh, you're nowhere near. You're at the beginning. 20 levels yeah, complete. Did it go faster <laughs> after I looked at the map? The last level is more difficult, and we can only see mm. part of the dungeon closest to the hero. Several items to collect, a screen with an ending story. Uh, I recommend reading the manual first so you know how the items work. Right, requirements Atari with a 48k of RAM, which is a lot of them. Can you press a button at any time, or do you have to be over the map icon? Uh, you have to be over. Oh, I don't know. I think you have to be over the map. Uh, that's probably not the best use of the time reset. Or can you pr do it again and again? Try the time reset again? You can, can't you? Oh, you can. Okay, that's good. Oh. When I was playing around with this, I didn't know that you could just go over the time again. You! Monkey! Stop it, monkey. <laughs> he is jonesing. Ah, need the map again. Refresh the time. And of course they put the map right at the beginning. That's what I was trying to do is look at the map, but it's like I swear the time goes faster when you have the map. It, it doesn't say anything about it, but it could. Has James C. Spinal Tap yet? Right! Yes! Did that... After we talked about that on the last uh, After Dark stream a couple days ago. Oh my uh, god! Stop moving! There! Time's almost done. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, time goes down really fast. Oh my god, okay. Really, really fast. Get to the time quick. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, yes, we watched Spinal Tap right after the show. Um, I'd never seen it before. Cats everywhere. And uh, it must have just messed with people's minds when it came out. Yeah. Like, they'd be like, it must be real. Like, it must be a band. They're, they're, act like they're actually singing, which is like the actors in the mockumentary are, are singing, too. Yeah. So it has so many layers of realism to it. Um, and the way they portrayed, like, the concerts and um, just everything, the band discussions and the touring, um, was really, really well done. Of course, Rob Reiner's a fantastic the time. Ah, uh, that's make hard. A, Rob, Rob Reiner's fantastic director. Oh, we didn't read that out. Oh. Next time. Uh, they were more real than the monkeys initially were. That's very true. Fantastic. Um, it's, it's a tiny bit dated at this point because yeah. the mockumentary has evolved so much in that time it's still good i found it a little uh 
slow, but because it was a new genre, it's almost more realistic because it's slow. Well, I think that's kind of the point, and it, and isn't it? And it's of the era, too, of the speed yeah. of, of, of movies then, and documentaries back then, not to... Uh, skip over that documentaries really didn't come into their uh modern the modern era until like um late 90s really like uh michael moore really put documentaries into the spotlight with bowling for columbine that one was the one of the biggest documentaries and um just his editing style was was much more, um, you know, can't make it, oh no. No, it's hard. It's, it's hard to, uh. So we can skip to that level. So you don't have to do the first level. Oh, C-I-Y-E. Unfortunately, you have to type it each time. Okay, press button. E, enter code. There we go. That's a good way to do it. Yeah, the amps that went to 11. Oh, so good. <laughs> so good that he didn't understand why he was asking, well, why don't you just turn up 10? Why don't you just make 10 louder? Yeah, just make 10 louder. He's, no, but these go up but to 11. But these go up to 11. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you not understand how this works? <laughs> uh, no bad-mouthing the monkeys. No, monkeys had some good songs, actually. And then they learned how to play their instruments. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and then they went on tour. Um, and RC70 oh says, Monkey's Weird Al was my first concert. That they, that was one concert? Wow. That must have been... What year was it? I need you to do it again. Same one? Yeah. That's one louder than ten. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Weird Al last year. Yeah, we saw Weird Al a couple years ago. It was so good. It was, it with, was good. It was it with the um, symphony? Y yeah, he tour? was with a huge... Um... You need to get to that time. You need to find your way to that time. Oh, you didn't look at the map. It's... It, you, you don't have enough time, and it drains so fast. Yep. Like, how do I get to that bottom area? <laughs> it's up to the top. Okay, oh, it's I get way it. way over. That's up here. Run. You gotta no, run. It's here. No. No, it's too... There's not enough time. <laughs> Try again. You kind of have to memorize the maze. Um, I was able to do this one without memorizing. Really? I didn't even know the ma how the map worked when I was testing it out. I passed this one. Oh God, it's the uh, the movement is really annoying though. <laughs> this get over here. And then it's, it's, like it's hard to here. make no. it go fast, but also make it accurate. It's kind it's of a balance. Why are these both at that end? <laughs> Just like down one of these yeah. areas. I think you're getting there. Well, that gets me up, so it oh, doesn't okay. really matter. Yeah. 87. Um, Weird Al was my first record that I bought. Really? Weird Al in 3D. We did eventually see um, the, the Weird, Weird Al. Al movie. Weird Al movie. So good. So funny. Go back to the time. At least the time's at the beginning of this one. Go for the bat. Don't have your sword yet. Don't need it. <laughs> Pretty easy to avoid the bat. Is it down this way? Oh, God. Nope. It's dead end. Oh, up. Dan says, I got hooked on Weird Al after listening to the Dr. Demento on the radio. I miss seeing Weird Al by one day when he's playing in Vegas because my trip was the day after. Ah, oh, no. Is this game supposed to be in color using artifacting? I wonder. It didn't mention anything about artifacting. Oh, what happened? Died. Oh, you ran out of time. Yeah. HCVW. Yeah. Like 
Yeah, yeah. Or, or once you passed it once, you could just... Skip to it or something, yeah. If Weird Al did a parody of a Spinal Tap song, would that create a singularity that ended the universe? I think it would. I think it would it'd just implode. <laughs> it's a PAL release, so unlikely to be used art using artifacting. Oh, was NTSC artifacting only used on NTSC? And PAL doesn't it doesn't work? No, oh, I did not know that. So it is unlikely, because 8-bit games are normally PAL. Oh, we're running out of time. We're gonna die. Quick, run to the no, I think I think I'm dead here. It's Weird Al yes. monkey parodies. I don't know. C H C V W. <laughs> You'll have to type then. Okay. H C V W. That's what's kind of it's annoying. Only up and down. Why are you going time. up? Why are you going up? Why are you going up? Go down. Go down. You. The door's at the back, at the bottom. No. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't know if I was going to make it. I'd need to HCBW. Mm -hmm. Need to map things out. Makes me wonder if the 400 Mini will have some simulated artifacting. Well, it depends on the emulator <laughs> and how much access you have to the... Oh, I died. Instantly? By the bat. <laughs> it's well emulated with modern emulators, so there's a very good chance that it will. You know. Also, Artifact does not worth it, work with S-Video at all. Only RF and Composite. Interesting. Well, the bat is randomized. So close to the end last time. Where are you going? Down. <laughs> Yay! Da -da -da! Woo! Eventually. Level something? Mm. Doesn't tell you. <laughs> oh, the walls are different. Mm hmm. Every level, I think. That time. 
Time now! Try to fake you out. I think you're close. It's like a refreshing drink. <laughs> Resets everything. Nostalgic says, I actually like the black and white aesthetic here. It suits the game well. I do too. It's I really do too. nice. It feels like a game you would play off... Old, uh, old, old computer. Uh, old, like, uh, ah! IBM. I don't know what you would call it, but... Yeah. Uh, with those with monochrome, monochrome screens, you know? Like, yeah. 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 around. Instant death in this game unless you have the ship. Which you do. Come back. Shield only works once and then you have... Uh, and it's gone or is it... Uh, then you have to get it again, yeah. Oh yeah, it stays on the screen. Now I like the mechanics of this where it's... Like, you can mm -hmm. refresh your time, and you get the map, but it's not always... Oh, no, well, that's all dead. And it's there. It's definitely up the up, up, up the right it, your block, except for... Top right. Okay. Top right, or where the, shield. the shield, yeah. I'm going to go for the shield first. Even though it's probably not the way, because it's like, oh, you already got the shield. Yeah. Hi, kittens. Nope. Very dead. Yeah, get the, uh, yeah, get, go back and get your time. Yeah? What's up? I'm a whiny cat. Are That's you hungry? Are you a hungry Always cat? Meow. Oh, poor little baby cat. How do you survive? Oh, day to day. Oh, I think this is the right way. Yeah, I think you're... No. Oh, yeah, it's definitely the right way. Come on. Yeah. There's no score in this game, so really getting to the exit yeah. is your only concern. You don't have to get the map, you don't have to get the sword. You don't, you don't have, have to get anything, you just gotta anything. get out. Yeah. But the time, you kinda need to get to the time because yeah. it's very hard to complete it without refreshing your time at least once. Unless you got really lucky. Ah. Well, timer out the door, so. No, I don't know where the door is. Ah. No, no, I knew it was gonna be on that side. Ah! Ah! Yeah, you, you gotta get out All that the way. side. Nope. What are you go? No, you gotta go to the right. You gotta go to the right. You you're sure? gonna die. Yeah, you're too late. Doesn't matter. It's too late. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Hi. E S T S. E S T S. Okay. Maybe an option to change it to orange or other com color combinations: blue, yellow. That'd be that'd be interesting. Yeah. E S T S. You can press a button uh, to get you. past that. To. Nope. I have to get E. Return? No, don't have to do anything. To, no, to get past that screen. Uh, pff, I think any key. Mm. Angles would be nice to be allowed. I bet it's not this. Oh, oh, I bet it's not. Oh, I did it. Nice. That was easy. Uh, yeah, angles would be very nice to have in this game. But no, you have to press exactly left and exactly right. In a stone dungeon now. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. That's so good. You can just hang out there for a while if you really want to. No. Nah, that was easy too. Excellent. Well, we made Next it this far. One. We're going to do this whole one, this whole game. Is only it ten starting levels. over? No. The, the background's the same, or the, the, the stones. Oh, uh, it probably has a uh, tile set of five. Or, who knows? Oh, oh, is it going to be a bastard? Oh, ho, ho. Ah. Oh, it's this, like this an is ice good. cold coke ah. ice in the middle of your. That's right. Yeah. The summer afternoon. After cutting the lawn. After cutting the lawn. Someone had a lot of lawn duty when they were a kid. Oh, so much lawn duty. 
And done. Yeah, that's another good one. Two baths. Oh my God. It's crazy town now. You've graduated to a two bat maze. Connecting to chat. Who's connecting to chat? Welcome to the chat room. That's never a good sign. That's your laptop. That better be my laptop. Yep. You're still streaming? Yep, I haven't dropped it. Anyone still out there? I haven't dropped a packet. It's all good. Wait for the zombie apocalypse and the lawn will cut itself miraculously. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> double the bats, double the fun. Oh, there's the tunnel there. Get it. Get it. <gasps> no, no! Oh, oh, at least I know. What's the number? What's the number? T C R I. Look more like refugees from demon attack than bats. Still streaming. Good, good. Yeah, I can tell if I'm streaming. No, I know. I, I just when when that went, I thought, oh no, I hope it's not everything is about to go. Well, it's a sign that it could. Yeah. The canary in the coal mine. Yeah. The laptop goes first. Nice. Never know when you're gonna. You know what? I feel like once you once you get something, it's a dead end. It's like you have to backtrack oh. your way back out. That seems to be the way it likes to uh, build the maze. Yeah. And these ra mazes are the same every time. They're hard coded. Hidden way in a corner. Oh, that's good. I got the time. Mm -hmm. Let's try this way. Yeah. <laughs> Big old fail. It's like that halfway into my path. Mm -hmm. Easy. I'm go get some yeah, the control is, is a little janky. It's, you get used to it. You get used to the speed and you know, dangerous. Well, you have you've hit the shield a few times, so. Oh, true. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what level this is. Mm. Anybody keep a track? Is this level. Made it a fair way through. Eight, at least six. I would say at least seven. Slowing me down now. Oh, of course. Dead end. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh. Whew. It's like, ah. Oh. And that's okay. It's halfway through the maze. Very happy about that. Very happy about that. Ooh, no. I knew it. I knew it. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, good job. I think the walls were different on level five, maybe as an indicator. I was thinking the bats were Are five, they change? but I don't think so. They change every few levels. Ah. They do seem to be halfway between. Um, They do change every few levels, for sure. Yeah. Every level or every few? Uh... Uh, sorry, the the walls. the walls change every level, but then it's repeating Ooh, now. Oh, nice run! It's oh. repeating now, I think. Is that, oh no! Oh, 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 no. Can you stop that cat from being a cat? Are you are you being a cat? Stop being How a cat! How dare you be this a cat? It's got to be the way out because there's it's. Yeah. How dare you be a cat? Stop being a normal cat. Oh my goodness! Scratch things with your claws that yeah, cats they, have. We need to. Oh yeah, they are sharp. They cats. have sharp murder mittens right now. Murder mittens. Yeah. And then in later levels, Man. Pennywise. <laughs> Pennywise. Oh, oh, oh! Yes. That's a nice. I like where the t when the time is kind of halfway and it's not too bad. Yeah, it's to not, get to it. Not mm. stuck in a corner somewhere. Kind of getting the hang of like playing it. The creation of the maps. I like how they're yeah. made. Or how to navigate them the best way possible. Mm -hmm. Obviously you head for the time as quickly as you can. Don't, don't 
you go. Oh, oh, no. I think I'm not going to make this one. Unless I get really, really... Uh, never mind. I'm going to go this way. No, I think it's dead end. Oh, no. No! 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 no. Quick! No! Oh, oh, that was mean. T S I R. To sir. To sir. It has 20 levels. No, no wonder. <laughs> Think the bats were halfway through? Uh, we'll make it. We got nothing better else to do than conquer games. I know that it's kind of up this time. I'm also making a new set of coasters, so I'm excited oh, about yes. those. Colorful. We've got to give, give some coasters away. It's I know, almost February. Colorful, colorful coasters. It's time for the next month of coasters. I got a mold that <sighs> creates a holographic, what do you call that? Holographic? Distractive, holographic kind of imprint on the uh, resin. It should look cool. Or it'll give people seizures, but we'll see. My eyes, or is that going yellow a little bit once in a while? A little bit, yeah. I solved that yellow problem. It does have kind of a parchmenty look to it. Like a little bit of a yellowing white. I thought you did too. Actually, someone in the in the chat also made a comment about it looking a touch yellow mm. at some point. Makes it easy when it's a white game to tell. You get less time in this one. What? It's not as oh, it's see, not right it's to the yellow. end. That it is yellow. going yellow! <gasps> I blame you. You're near it. Well, mm. this this is actual yellow. Okay. <laughs> Is this, this is, but did it, is it supposed to be like this? A hundred percent. You sure? It, it changed perfectly on the okay. level. Okay, just making sure. Because that's really yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Command, yes, it does look yellowy. <laughs> yeah. uh. Oh, what would you think of putting paw prints of Sprite and Atari on the back side of the coaster? Uh. Oh. I'd have to get them to like sit still sit still long enough that I could put an imprint in but yes that would be very that's a very cute idea you want to put your pop right adorbs on are you adorable yes you are you guys are the best I just need to be a last one. yeah you are the best yes yes you are at least one of the best oh I caught you oh I caught him <gasps> wild cat he does not like being caught no Amber brings back old monochrome memories here. Yeah. So did you finish 20 levels and now it's yellow? No. No. It does have an ending. Anyway. Next green! Yes. Green? Oh, I hope so. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Hi. Ugh. Ugh. As yellow as this beautiful black kitten's eyes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're kind of yellowy green. Both of you have yellowy green eyes, don't you? Yours are a little bit more green. One. These guys are so affectionate because they think they're getting treats soon. I think they are. Oh no! No! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Almost! Oh! oh. Breath of Is that like and right out. near the exit? Yeah. What? Yeah. Green? Yeah, Miss Command says green was always my fave. Three I bats. Like the green. I do like the amber because I find the. I, is, I, orange? I felt yeah. like the ambery orange color was rare. <laughs> you didn't see it too often? My friend had a uh, friend's parents yeah. had a screen that was, you could pick between green and amber. Really? And we, we always found that we're like, okay, we're sick of green. Let's switch it over. It was just a switch on the monitor. Oh, that's so cool. So we're like, uh, it's time for green. Uh, it's time for amber. That's funny. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No. <gasps> no. Oh. oh. Okay. So close. J-M-O-H. Got a cat. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I'm petting this little black kitten. Mm -hmm. Which green? Apple two monochrome green or icky Game Boy green? Uh, well, it was a um, like Apple two monochrome green, but I, I can yeah. I can tell your preference, Gamadev. <laughs> Not a fan of the icky Game Boy green, the kind of gray gray green. Our public libraries had amber with their fancy new. Com Computrons, nice. Computrons. 
Computron. Hospital all vomit green. Oh yeah, that's a good one. It's gonna be down and around. Kamadev. I had a Lynx. <laughs> Not a Game Boy. <laughs> Color Lynx. None of your black and white stuff. This so-called gray green that you. Hi. Hi. I'm done. Oh, so cute. How many levels are there? No. Oh, death no. No. Q T U N. Okay. Oh. Oh, two. Oh, it's Oh, the whole thing. Nope. Interesting. Are you sure it was supposed to turn yellow? That that's not your. Uh... No. No? We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> it's the screensaver. Oh, Carl G got an OG Game Boy for Christmas. Congratulations, oh, Carl, very Carl G. Nice. I would have loved one of those in like, I don't know, 1988 or whenever it came out. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to come out, the Game Boy. Mm. 89, 90, 90? Good question. Oh, I don't know. 90s? I'm sure it's the 90s. 90? Eighty-nine. Thank you, pseudographics. So, Funny well, getting yeah. a Game Boy for Christmas at fifty. <laughs> yeah, well. In twenty twenty-four. You know what? You're just a little late. That's that's okay. <laughs> Better late than never. Exactly. An analog the pocket. Point of getting old and hopefully huh. having a little bit of income is you can buy all those Game Boys you all the could toys never buy when you were a child. Make up for your lost childhood. Deprived childhood. <laughs> Poor James. I had, a, I had a C64. Nothing yeah, to complain I can't, about. I can't complain either. It was just, I had no co systems. Mm. No consoles whatsoever. So I just uh, play, oh, was it? play with them at my friend's house. I mean, it is random whether you, ah, whether you uh, are able to complete the maze. Like, you can mm. do it in the first pass. Like, oh, just mm -hmm. made all the right decisions. Mm -hmm. Up and around. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes. Nice. Stalagic 26 says, Carl G, have you found any good games for the great gray brick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Dark no. Maze for James. This is. This is what you get for being good at this game. No, it's I'm not good at this game. Maze. I'm terrible at it. Uh, this is this is nightmare fuel. I bet nightmare fuel. <laughs> oh, you're yeah, a little sadness. And then there could be a bat coming out and kill me right there. Uh, this yeah. is level twenty for sure. Yeah, it has to be. This is going to take a number of tries. Because I can't even get back to the... Go up, up, nope, right, there you go. Nope, dead end. Oh, oh, getting somewhere. Getting nowhere. Nowhere fast. You always go up before you... I don't know. <gasps> oh, so close, I think. I feel... F-S-I-F. Uh, my friends had a 2600. And, um, so you got to play it, your friends. Oh, yeah, all my friends had systems. Yeah. So that wasn't, uh... I had a C64 and then eventually a Nintendo. That was it, though. <laughs> um, the Nintendo came quite late in the game. My parents did not want to buy one for quite a few years. That means you had a great selection of games to choose from. It, it, that's exactly true. And oh, we got a Nintendo. We didn't, and then we we started renting games. Like that was the era of like when video stores. We had a local video store, and they rented a lot of video games. Yeah. So we would rent games all the time. <sighs> Da, 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 yeah, da, da. Good game! 
When Sir Reynard de Lorraine reached the treasure chamber, he found a lever behind one of the stone walls that opened up an amazing sight. There inside lay forgotten treasures glowing in a glaze of glowing light. It appeared that no one had previously managed to get through the intricate puzzle of the traps and riddles that protect these treasures. Sir Reynard de Lorraine collected the prey, but instead... Pray. But instead of keeping it just for himself, he decided to share it with the people of his kingdom. Aww. These treasures became the foundation for many new projects and initiatives that brought prosperity and development to the entire kingdom. The knight became a hero who shared his success with the <laughs> others. His name has remained in the people's mem memories as a symbol of courage, wisdom, and nobility. The dungeons that once frightened the inhabitants became a place of inspiration. There you go. Community, and community. Where people from different social strata came together for the, to benefit from the prosperity that resulted from the courage of one knight. Very nice. Cheers wildly! Stephen King, everything our parents said video games would do to us, Fox News has not done to our parents. <laughs> Very nice. Yep, they're the failures, we are the successes. <laughs> uh, great game! Really fun game. Mm -hmm. It's treat See, time. It's yellow. Yum, time. It is yum, treat yum. time. Yay. Treat time. It's treat time. Ooh, it's yellow. What does that mean? Yeah, it is yellow. It is a problem. No. Out. That's just Out. a screensaver. Out. Half percent. Out. Oh, it is yellow. It oh is yellow. God. I told you that. Oh my Out. god. It Kittens. Was. It is my They're sister. leaving. Why are you leaving? Oh my goodness. This is a problem. Well, I know, are you coming in? I know why it's done that, so I can fix it. Get in. Get in the room. Get in the room. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's chaos. Oh, okay. Why, why did it do it? Why is it complete? It's like, it's like canary yellow. It's because the keyboard yeah. is shorting the VBXE board. <sighs> um, I put, I need to find better um, protection from it. Mm. Okay, let's start up the... Puss and bats. Puss and bats. Pets and bats. Pets, Pets and, and bats. There you go. Place your bets, folks. Place your bets. Um, it's because we were typing in. Okay. Oh, and it was pushing down. It was pushing down. That kind of makes sense. So I need to find a better way to protect the VBX yeah. keyboard. From getting... That won't overheat. Crushed. Crushed. Um, but also will prevent it from... Yeah. 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 So place your bets on these two little fluffy predators. Hungry fluffs. Yes. Who've been trying to eat everything off the walls and Bernie and, <laughs> yeah. and meowing. And oh, there's bets on betting. every uh, category oh, there now. there we go. Okay. So we've got Sprite, who's a very eager young kitten. And Atari, who... He's very fast at eating. Yeah. He's, he's very fast at ringing, but he gets distracted. Yes. Um, very deliberate ringer, but sometimes gets a little distracted uh, very slow eater, with though. with waiting for me to throw treats rather than ri than him ringing the bell. Yeah, he's yeah. been looking up at you a lot. I know. I, I try to hide the treats in my hand a bit because he gets somewhat distracted by the treats being there. Funny kitty. I'm betting on Bernie, says Miss Command. Uh, I'm betting on Bernie? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Bernie's an option. No. Uh, two little fluffinators. Meow, be back. Yeah. What should I do about this? I can... Uh, I can need my crack screwdriver. It open? Yeah. Smack can, it from the cause bottom? Because the, the other games... Yeah, because I can still type on the keyboard. I just need to lift it up. So okay. Are you after getting... the sh After uh, this... Okay. I'm going to go... It's, o it's only six screws. Okay. So I'm just going to open it up, lift the keyboard off. It'll go back to white. Mm. Guarantee it. Wish I kept some stats. Someone kept stats. Well, you can be that person, Carl G. <laughs> um, There's always a stats stats keeper in the uh, in the audience. But... Yep. All right, you Maui cats. So you can go through. Oh, it's over. Almost over. And, and it's over. over. All right. You can go through all the shows. How are the bets? Stats. No. Oh my God. <gasps> Someone is beggy. Beggy okay, cat. Cats. Are you ready? Not. Hold on. Wait till Tanya, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm more important. It's more important that I'm ready or these cats don't get their treats. Keep them nice and spread out, please. Someone who isn't me, Carl G says. Yeah. Okay. Back it off. Back it off. And Atari's off to the races and Sprite is off to the races. Oh, my as well. God. It's one all. <laughs> Did you knock it underneath? Oh, my God. Can cat, you... here, here, here. Eat that. There, you found it. Yay. There you go, Sprite. Sprite Number two. two. One. 
his fault for knocking it under there. And Sprite, Sprite again. Atari's sauntering back to the bell. It's two to three for Atari. Sprite's in the lead. He's quick at eating and quick at ringing. And it's four, two, four, three. Atari just rang it again. He's smacking it under the couch. Uh, which don't is smack not good. it under the couch, you silly cat. Oh, oh there Sprite. We go. He was batting at it, but now he got it. He's sauntering back to the bell. Sprite's got another oh, one. Oh, Sprite is so fast. Bring it. Hit it. Hit the bell. There, there we go. go. Six, four for Sprite now. Still in the lead. Seven, four. Oh, he's, my goodness. He's three up now from Atari. Whoever bet three plus is. Oh, he's now four up. Oh, I think it's locked in at three plus now. Atari's got another one. It's still three up. And he's keeping the lead. Oh, Four game up. points. It's game point for Sprite. Can Atari thwart Sprite's three lead? Oh, no, Oh, my goodness. Four Chicken whiskers. Beat. One by four whiskers. Oh, my God. That's Sprite. I think we need to oh. ply them with a bit of catnip because... <laughs> That definitely seems to give Atari an advantage. Yeah. Yes, says old style. Woo, and Let's pseudographics. <laughs> see who the big winners are. Choose Sprite the Sprite by four whiskers, correct. And the big winners are. Da, 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 da. Gamma Dev <gasps> is nice. the big winner. And along two with others. two other people. 10,000 points split between them mm. very good stuff so now i'm gonna get my screwdriver uh from upstairs Atari oh, needs guards by the couch like i need guards for bowling says nostalgic <laughs> and and i don't know if yeah you can see he knows there's one under there he's gonna be there for the rest of the night trying to pull out that tree that fell underneath why did you knock it under there you silly cat now they're on now they're out for a treat hunt you may 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 need to add some additional Sprite plus X options. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> oh, Sprite. So it's, it's he's still going for the couch. He's still trying to find the one treat under the couch. He knows there. it's still there. Yeah. He can smell it. Oh, he knows it's there. He never got it. So. So it's repair hour. Yeah, you might want to flip the screen. Oh. Unless you want. Well, I will flip it back to repair. Time. Yeah, so you can see it. Um. So, which one do I need? Warning! Warning! The treat ball is loose. Oh. The treat ball is loose. The treat ball is loose. Oh my goodness! Well, that's a good time to do it, actually. Yeah, it is. So they can, can watch you at. After. Yeah. True. So we're going to pretend all cats it's all the uh, time. ITC, uh, Ivory Tower Collection Channel. And we're going to take apart this Atari. That's a lot of treats. We'll see how that goes. What was that? Does someone want a treat ball? I'm going to have to close the door again. Live surgery on Atari during the show. Do you want treats or no? <laughs> Hell yeah, I want treats. That's what he says. We're going to use the other... We're going to be using the iFixit uh, screwdriver set. Not a sponsor. Uh, this one is a good one. Not a great one. This one is a good one. That's a better one. So, uh, Jesse, if you could recommend something for me to put between the keyboard and the VBXE board, or anybody that knows, so that uh, the, the pokey parts don't <laughs> stick through. And uh, short summing on the BBX board. Mm -hmm. A sheet of metal, uh, uh, says no. Serrano. Mm. I will not take that advice. Captain tape, Gamma Dev. That's what I put Simple, on. says Ivory Tower Collections. That's what I put Dr. on Dr. already. One oh, layer does of, it? of Captain tape. Mm. Um, obviously, it did not work because it pierced right through. So I need something a little bit more hearty than that. Ideally, something non-conductive. Uh, Solder the VBXC directly to the board. Don't use uh, the socket to keep it lower profile. Ooh. That sounds above my pay grade. I really probably not in the next five minutes don't at least. Well, not right now. No. I know how to fix it right now. Here but I mean cats. for permanent fix. I'm not really interested in soldering. A resin coast. <laughs> Paper, water. Okay, yeah. these are great suggestions. <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> I'm not sure on the paper or the water. Okay, kittens. 
this back. I can't help you with any of that. I would just electrocute myself. Yes, you would. Oh, and here's a screw on the floor. Just sitting around for a cat to eat. like to keep that screw. All right. If possible. <laughs> Gamadev. Cyrano says a cat. Gamadev says <laughs> apples. Very small rocks. A duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The toga wants the cat cam. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll switch it. You can see the top of James's head. <laughs> Some cats playing with uh, over here, kitties. Come on, you. There's the inside of my computer. There's the VBX keyboard. Um, you can't really see the. There's the caption tape. Computer, tape. computer guts. Woo! Obviously pierced through. An old club card would do it. Gamadev says. <laughs> Old credit card. So let's just put a few of those around. Down a bit. Anyway. Back on. It is 100% Atari playing with the ball. Oh, it's still yellow. What? Permanently fried. Pseudographics, so it's not shorting from the keyboard. There we go. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not it so far away. Maybe not. Okay, we're back in business. We have a white screen now. Oh, nice. Uh, and a completely open uh, computer. Yeah, cats don't nice. jump up there. Very dangerous. Okay. Next game, called Major Blink. Let's change the cartridge. Oh, it's hot in here. Why is it so hot in here? Why is the door closed? It's so hot. Now, before you start it up, uh, let's take a look at, this is a, a port of, the, of a game, still slightly yellowish. Oh, Lies. it's much better than what it was, though. <laughs> uh, a port of a game by the same author. Um, it is called Major Blink. Oh, my God. That's really loud. I know you can't see it yet. Do those things kill you? Yes, they do. Okay. So, uh, this is from this build that we're going to be playing is uh, January 26, 2021. First posted about September 8th, 2018. I recently ported my old Baby Burks C16 game to the 8 Atari 8 bit and uploaded onto the forum. Baby Burks was originally a cut down version of Burks 1, initially created to be typed in from my magazine listing. I've now converted the second game in the Burks trilogy, Major Blink. The game dates from 1985. And I haven't made any major, excuse the pun, updates to the gameplay. The original program had to run in 16K, and this version should happily run in 32K. So we're looking at the C16 version of the game. Okay. Uh, by this, the same author. Uh, test on the PAL, NTSC and PAL in Altera. The game makes a few simple changes to compensate for the different NTSC frame. Uh, the game is a simple one. Roam around the screen while filling in the boxes while avoiding diamond geezers and cool bears. Don't ask. There are eight different screen cool layouts bear. chosen at random, <laughs> repeating when they've all been cleared. Larger boxes contain a random bonus based on your entry skill setting. Fill in the box to gain the bonus. The cool bears will appear at the top mm. of the screen and work their way down. Uh, unfilling the squares as they move. Diamonds un inexorably move towards you, but then can be stunned for a short while before setting off again. It's important to note that you must complete a screen before the bonus counter reaches zero. Bonus, okay. So this is the C16 version. Mm. So let's load up. 
Blink 1982. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Magazine has code listings. So. Can you start it up? <laughs> Major Blink. High score zero. Skill level normal. We'll stay on that. Uh, so we know all about the game, so we don't need to go to the help screen. So press the button. Plus it's upside down. Number of drones, five. Number of bears, four. Number of lives, five. Skill rating, eight. Fill bonus, ten. Okay. We'll watch for yellowing, but I'm quite sure it was something to do with the keyboard pressing down. Ooh. Now, it is socketed, so ITC is correct about that. The antic chip is socketed as well. Um, that would not help. And I don't even think you could do anything about that. But yeah, you could okay, solder. Uh, you can't run into him after you pick it. I didn't see what happened, but you have I to wait hit. till it explodes and then, and then, then you can go through it. I like the color gradients. It's a nice touch. Yeah, very nice uh, colors on this. Very strong colors, very primary. Red, purple, blue. And uh, the gradations in between each one is very nice as well. Oh. Walked right into it. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to move forward. Yeah, the, the movement is, is Pac-Man-ish in the sense that it only stops in between. Crosses. You can't stop anywhere oh, you want. Oh, it's stopping, yeah, yeah. Perhaps try removing it from the socket and clean the socket and the pins with contact cleaner. So I did uh, uh, take it out a bit and reseat it, but I didn't take it out completely. So I think I will do that as my next step because something is happening like that. That was the first issue when I first fixed it was reseeding it. And that worked for a bit, and that was the kind of off yellow, but slightly off yellow. And the yellow we saw today was, seems to be more related to the keyboard. Oh, I can see the captain tape coming off the keyboard. Now. So that's not even sticking. If, if you have complete a level before the bonus counter reaches zero, then it's a time limit, not a bonus. If you die when the, it reaches zero, then it is a time limit. Or it's a double. Time limit and bonus. Like in a lot of VHZC games, it is a time limit. But also your score. This one has additional scores. I think when you shoot things, but definitely when you surround. There's nothing left. Adding around to an empty ball doesn't give you more treats. Just, it's a toy at that point. Oh, those cats are so observant. Clean the surface for the tape with IPA first. Oh, that's good too. That's good advice. Thank you. Because then it'll stick better. Because it'll be cleaner, won't have dust. And... Careful not to run into them. Those Which um... ones? Bears? The bears, <laughs> as you shoot them, because they have to completely disappear. Oh yeah, no, I, 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 that did happen some at you one got point. Pretty close that time. Oh. Ooh, it's still going a little bit yellow. So that slight off yellow is the socket. So the socket is not right. I found that was it. So I'm going to clean those sockets out. Then stick down the IP. Is there anything better than Captain Tape to protect two things from each other from shorting? Something thicker? Because I think the pins from the bottom of, like the soldered pins on the bottom of the keyboard are really pokey and they don't feel like they're poking through. I'm not going to touch it right now. But they obviously did poke through. Something did. Create that very yellow. Thin piece of plastic film. Yeah, that might work. Yeah. Because that's not conductive. 
they're all gathered together. It's really good. No, it's really annoying though with that that bear guy. Oh, he's trapped in there. He is. Oh no, you can shoot him from top. There you go. There you go. Now they're untrapped. Just gotta lead them away from that area you haven't done yet. Oh, you're leading them back again. Oh, because you're shooting the bears. Very strange name. Any oh, thin bears. sheet of non-conductive plastic. Scared of plastic because um, plastic can retain static en uh, st static energy, static electricity. Like you rub rub plastic on your head and it gets all staticky. They're still in that center. Got to lead them away. Don't let yourself get trapped. Electrical tape? Yeah, electrical tape's pretty thick. That would work too. It's gross though and sticky. Ugh, more of these guys. So is Captain Tape. Oh, he's blocking you. Damn it. Don't rub it on your head first. Okay. No. I'll write that down. No rubbing plastic on head before putting in computer. <laughs> oh, these guys. Wrecking, wrecking everything. Wrecking everything. Close. Too close. Sheet of paper. Sheet of paper. It'll pierce right through a sheet of paper. Well, at least I'll clear it. <laughs> Warding off uh, um, potential bears coming down. Heck yeah. Yay! Yay Cardboard. Cardboard. Well, not charge itself, just discharge it and stick it on the keyboard. <laughs> this game it's it's fun it's very simple yeah it's like um ooh, yellow makes me think my eyes are going crazy it goes all yellow we're all get cataracts is yeah. that what you're saying yeah exactly it's like do i have cataracts yeah. or is it my my computer <laughs> yeah exactly oh you could have got that 85 i would well, He's trapped well, down well. there now. That's so funny. Kind of good. Kind of bad. Yeah, it's kind of good. It's kind of like, um... Oh, that was really close. Yeah, I know it was. By a pixel. Um, mix between, like, Amadar and Fix-It Felix. <laughs> the, uh... Why wouldn't it let me shoot that way? You might be pressing the button before you move. No, maybe. I don't know. No. It's, it's just not letting me. The issue is that the thicker layer you add, the more the keyboard will push on the VBXE. Yeah, that's true. It's right up against it. That's tough. The VBXE oh, it's yellower now. Sticks up and it goes back and forth. Um, VBXE sticks up quite a bit. Hmm. I wonder if the uh, the socket is a double wipe socket or a single. Probably single based on the annoying yellowness that's happening. Come over here. Come on. Come over here. Yeah, it won't let me shoot. What? When there's stuff like. Is this funny. weird? Oh, come on! <laughs> Come on! One left. Oh no, then there's guys wrecking everything. Oh. Oh, get. Oh no, they're all over the place. Yeah, just get that 3000, then you can clean up the top. Come this way. Take photos and ask Flash Jazz Cat. Yes. That's a good idea. <laughs> Get up there. Get up there. Oh, no. 
Get up there and shoot them. Well, I guess it's dangerous up there. Can Is be. It, can you be killed by like just one randomly coming down? Or how do they come in? Do they flash? No, they could kill you right away. Oh, that guy's stuck. You gotta kill him from above. Or lead all those guys out of the way. I don't think that's a, it's gonna be a good thing. Come and get me. Ah. Well, they very much get in your way. <laughs> Bonus! Going to zero! Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, I did mean to run into him. Do it! Quick! 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 Yay! All you gotta do is die. <laughs> That's how you finish every level. Just That's die correct. and it's all cleared. Correct. Wanna do screen four? Uh, sure. <laughs> I love all the suggestions for what to put. Yeah. Oh, this is very different. Yeah, there's random, oh, wow. five random, different random screens. Hmm. This one is different in the way that you only need to go up and down. You know, well, it's, there's quite a few more columns and um, rows to go through. That is the issue as well. These guys. Trouble. Wrecking my stuff. Ugh. Now I can go. Gotta be careful, those things will kill you. Oh, yeah. Kill him. Oh, nope. nope, you should have shot up the top there. There you go. You kind of want to get on top of those guys because they'll completely destroy them all. You just got to kind of shoot up the... Um, I'm leaving the top row for last because that... It is the best thing to do. There's no point in doing it. It is the best thing to do. just kind of get wrecked all the time. And then I just clean up the top. Yeah, but those, those things really get in your okay, way. Okay, all you guys come down here. Come, just get out of the way. Come down. Over here. Over here. No, you gotta get those guys before they destroy everything. That's okay. Yeah, you gotta get them down to the... Stay in that corner. I guess. No, you go back up. You only have the upper row left to do, so... These guys don't do too much damage. Oh. Fortunately, you can kind of get them on a half row. Yeah. Oof, that was very... One, one last one to go. Yay! Yay! <laughs> max damage would know how to play this. And max vampire. <laughs> That's true. Skill rating 12. Nice. It's level 12? It starts at 8, so... Oh, okay. Depending on what you pick as your beginner or I guess. normal or advanced, yeah. I'm guessing. But it started at skill level, so... Oh, squishy squish. No, no squishes. What are you drinking? It smells good. It's peach mm. drink, mm. Mm. tiny bit of vodka. Tiny, oh. just a little bit. Okay, dudes. Oh, oh the cats are so tired now. Oh, they were playing good. with their ball. They were getting all their treats. <laughs> That's good. They're in Got complete catnap mode right now. Good. Very sleepy kitties. Okay, all the balls come this way. A small church amount of vodka. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of vodka. Church amount? Yeah. <laughs> to get you through church? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> or allowed in church. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's it's, it's the communal amount. wine, you know. Right. Oh yeah, okay, could be that. <laughs> mean that as well. Amount. That is a funny saying. I've never heard that before. Oh, these balls are faster. <laughs> they are faster. So annoying. Church appropriate. Yeah, exactly. Church appropriate. So you don't appear drunk. But yeah. Helps helps get helps through get, the sermon. Helps get through the service. <laughs> like, I heard this one before. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a swig. No more than the priests, you know? <laughs> okay, let's... 
No! Don't get smooshed. Oh. These guys are so fast now. Don't go down. Oh, of course you're going down. Oh my god. Oh, it, no, go up and get them all. There's too many of them. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them. Get them. Get them. Don't get squished. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. <gasps> oh, you are dead. Oh no, no. I can like stay here forever just shooting. He'll, he'll completely clear. No, kill yourself. It's much easier. Oh, you only have one life though. Wait, is it the... No, it's the oh, wrong no! way to count lives. Programmed no! the wrong way. <laughs> I don't have one life left. You have one I had zero life, life left. In use. Yes. <laughs> that was fun. Can you pick the level? From the joystick? Oh, you can do it from mm. the joystick. Hooray! It is... Well, you can't go to the help screen. I was, a, <laughs> I was Sir a... Renault says, adding kill yourself, it's much easier to kick the old man. <laughs> Just kick the old Just, man. Am, am I supposed to kick this old man? <laughs> I've never heard that. Duffer. Duffer? Is that below novice? novice? I guess is it so. Duffer? I, I don't know that term either. Or is Duffer above master? Duffer no. sounds low. It does. So it it sounds like Duffer, Duffer novice. Ma yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I, th sure I, think we, is, uh, I think we played this. This is like yeah. an operetta, isn't it? This song? Duffer is a British thing. It sounds it like sounds a British thing. It sounds very British. I just, I've never, I, that's not a term I know. So we're on to our last game of the night. And it is Alora, and it is in stereo, so I can turn off the forced mono, which is always exciting. Mm -hmm. um, slacker, gotcha. Slacker. Nice. Video game stereo. Okay. This is uh, Laura, and um, actually, I have a website to show you. Because it has a website. Nice. With a whole bunch of information on it. There we go. Laura, by, uh, distributed by Rsoft. So this is um, from 2018, the build we're going to be playing. Mm. Um, the original was released in 2016. You, during Silly Venture 2016, and nice. also won first place in Kaz Compo 2016. Nice. Uh, programmed by uh, Arkadiusz Lubaska. Um, the graphics were by Pavel Shevjik, and the music and sound effects were by Bar Thwame Vitorkovsky. <laughs> Probably got some of that right. Uh, 256k uh, cartridge file. Mm -hmm. um, so this, uh, it was originally in Polish, the game. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Uh, so many games are in, from Poland. It's it's absolutely crazy how big the scene is there. Yeah. Um, and it's been translated into many languages. Nice. Uh, German, English, Czech, French, Italian, and Spanish, and Russian, but it was removed. Uh, the Russian version. Okay. Okay. Uh, and here's the website for it. Here's the original version from 2016 that was very limited. And then this is the English version or multi-language version that was released in 2018. And this is the 2020 version that was released with a number 32 more levels, totaling 96 levels. And here's some screenshots, but we'll be seeing those in the game. There's, uh, I think, the names of all the levels mm -hmm. that you can play. There's a movie poster for it. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Great. Has all the people's names on it. Yeah. It's stereo. There's all the names. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's all the people that helped with the translations, Very including nice. Filippo Santelico. Santeloco. Never said it out loud, really. And... Um, Who's Phil Sam? Mm -hmm. um, he did the Italian translation. And there's also a Laura constructor program. Oh. So you can make your own levels. Oh, nice. Yes. So you can download cool. all the uh, versions without the extra levels mm -hmm. off of this website. Um, I can paste it in that. Paste. And I wish there was paste and go. There you go. So if you want to download this game, it is available. There's the... Um, Laura Constructor nice. program, so you I can like make that. your own levels. And you can download the instructions in PDF. 
which we have right here to help us out. Excellent. You gonna help me through? Yes. The game version on cartridge. Uh, yes. Um, so you can buy it on cartridge, I think. Still, this Hopefully one. Hopefully, still. I'm not yeah. sure. A game could be ordered. Yep, there you go. Orders at retronics.eu if you want to get it on cartridge and get all the bonus levels. So we're going to play the non-cartridge version because I would go broke if I bought every single game. Mm. Um, okay, so load up Laura. But you would be happy if you went broke on uh, buying all, all these cartridges. Oh, uh, yeah, I would. I would have no yes. room in the house as well. My grandfather loved to travel. He had the passion to explore old civilizations. Every time he returned from his trips, uh, we did go through this story. Did did we? We did show this on the show. I think it was translated or part of an Atari Homebrew Awards. Oh, I think. okay. We we showed the video or something, so oh, we can okay. skip through this because we've already shown it. So we'll press the button. Ah, so that means Laura is Pitfall Harry Jr.'s daughter. Ah, okay. Nice. Okay. So, basics are collect the things. You leave a little trail. So oh, you can know where cute. you came from. You can't go into the water. Water kills you. Collect the coins. So don't get that coin. No. I <gasps> oh, just it's told swamp. You. I just told no! you don't go in the water. Don't I, go I in wasn't the trying water. to. I didn't even know I was in the swamp. Lies. <gasps> Your adventure listen. ends here. <laughs> Goal of the game is to collect the required number of masks on each level. So there's two masks to collect on this level. And avoid contact with enemies and obstacles, decreasing Laura's energy. Got 99 hearts. So there's one mask. That's exactly what you need. Golden coin. Now don't go after that key because it's in the swamp. So the doors are closed right now. You have to get all the masks first. Um, what is that? Okay, those are explosives. Uh, it says trap, hidden trap. Mm. Crazy. So you have to push those blocks over oh. the traps. So those are movable. And that will create a path. As long as you don't walk right on top of them, you're safe. There you go. Trap is destroyed. So you can keep pushing it to get through. You're near the trap. And there's the key to open the door. There's the second mask. The exit has opened. And there you go. Don't walk over that. No, you can. Yeah, you can destroy the other one. So trace left by her footprints. Hmm. And then you can go open the door because you have the key. Hmm. You can't get that key. You don't need it. It's it's a lure. lure I was, I was wondering you. if you could push the blocks and then it, you would get no. over. But no, I guess that wouldn't work. No. No. Uh, you, you saw die. the exit, you That's saw the door. Water is water, it tends to spread out. Some say it could be more dangerous than fire. Walls, walls cannot be passed. Oof. Wall with a rupture. Damaged wall that could be entirely destroyed. So there are destructible walls. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So, mm. um, just a little hint, don't mess with that. I didn't mean to. Until you've got all the keys. Oh, I didn't mean to. No, you're still good, you're still mm. good. I think you're still good. I don't know if I am. Um, mask, collecting the appropriate number of masks, so you need two on this level, uh, opens the transition to the next level. Collecting the key will allow us to open the door or chest. Um, so that could be pushed aside and get that. And there's a bomb. Do I? Throwing a stone into a bomb will cause it to explode. Laura can also pick up a bomb and then place it somewhere else. So those things shoot out to the side, but you can run past them. And you're very lucky. Snake. Ouch! Snakes. Oh, it did hit you. Oh, it must have bit you as it walked past you. Pure health. Well, you're at full health again. These are like training levels. Golden coin. Maybe you will open something. 
Movies and games lied to me. I've never encountered quicksand, even though it's probably the leading cause of death in most fictional adventures. Some comedian had that. Was it John Mulaney? It said, uh... It was, uh... Key was useful. Pure health. That quicksand was not the, uh... Not the hazard we were taught to believe it was growing up in the 80s. Mm. Every cartoon, Heads. every movie had quicksand. I mean, quicksand does exist. It's out there. Go one more up. There's the exit. So, the plan you're pushing carefully. I can see a I path. I can see right a now. path. This to the right. Yep, or the one to the left. There you go. Then down, then up. But do I... No, not up. No? No, because that'll push it against the door. Where am I supposed to go then? Left. Left. Up. Right. Up. Uh. Right. Up. The key was useful. Now you have to get two more masks. Mm. And don't get bitten too much by the snakes. Okay, you're still good. <laughs> Panic. Panic! Panic cat! How do I get out? Uh, the exit. There, there it, is. it is. It has appeared. Crawling creature. Moves only horizontally. You can destroy it by throwing a stone to the side of the creature. Stone? Hmm. S can I throw a stone? Oh, yeah, you have bullets. Oh. Apparently. I forgot about that. I would have been to tell before. Uh, what are those? Uh, radiator. Shoot. Generator that shoots in all directions with the rays. Rays are a threat to Laura. Doesn't say it'll kill you, but I'm guessing it'll either kill you or damage you immensely. I've, I've never even seen quicksand. Have you seen quicksand? I don't think so. I don't think, think so. it exists here. Does it exist in Canada? Can somebody look up where quicksand even exists? Are those bad guys? Those Ooh, are what bad are guys. Those? those are ghosts. Ghosts always follow Laura. Meeting with him does not cause Laura's energy drop. That means they will they'll block you, probably. Oh, you can turn off the beams by blocking them. Smart. I got some bombs. Key. Some bomb there. Anything in that area? Well, uh -oh. there's an entrance, but so you don't want to go up to the top left because that'll let it, the ghost out. Go up a bit. What's up top? Nothing. Okay. So it's kind of dangerous because if you push that block to the right, the beam will come back. Now, if you push that block that's down there up, the beam will come back. Yeah, and I'll get hit. Yeah, so maybe this go somewhere else. Change cartridge image. Thank you! That's so wrapped up in everything else. There we go. Maybe I oh, don't There's a bunch of blocks there. Oh, was that a destructible wall or was it an opening? Oh, can I use a bomb? Uh, yes. How to use the bomb. I'm guessing you hold down the button and pick which direction you want to place the bomb. You can't plant a bomb here. Okay, so. I have to throw a rock at it? Oh, run. The bomb will explode. There you go. So you got one of them. So you have two more bombs. Oh, that's easy enough. Ooh, yeah. Does that explode one or two. just do multiples? Nice. So you got, that'll get, now you just have to find the exit. Now, you do have one more bomb, so if you explode that area over there and open it up so you have a way to push those out. I don't you... think you can explode that brick though, can you? Oh, no, it didn't explode. So, so where's my exit point? That's what I care about. It's either up there or down there. We haven't seen those areas yet. It could be in that top left, but I doubt it. You could look. 
Kind of reminds me of Gauntlet a little bit. Oh, try and move down a little bit more. Uh, it's probably in the bottom corner or the top mm. corner. Um, hmm. Oh, that's it there. Oh, there it is. Funny. Brilliant level just, completed. I didn't notice that before. Excellent. What is the point of the tracing where you've walked? It's just cute. It's just cute. I mean, it, it tells you where you've been. Yeah. It's kind of helpful. I mean, this okay. isn't a maze, so it's not like oh, helpful in that respect. The ghost is blocking that. Oh. Mmm. That's interesting. Mm. It's always dangerous when there's tons of health. It's like, yeah, you're going to get hurt. <laughs> oh, he's going to go up there. Oh. Oh, to the key. Mm. What if you run fast past it? Ah, uh, there you go. That I don't know if that looks helps. like I could shoot you it. You can destroy that wall, probably with a bomb, or shoot it, most likely with a bomb, I think. You can try and shoot it. And get everything else first, though. Oh, two doors. Oh. So there's keys somewhere. Multiple keys. Seeing where it's safe to step. Oh, yeah, it's useful for that, too, if you retrace your steps. Then you're like, oh yeah, it's fine through there. Doors and doors and doors. And the way the screen moves is uh, very bold. Oh my god, you don't have a key for that. But it can cut off lasers. Fuck that up. I fuck that up. I can't pull it, can you I? You can push it up, which is probably where you want it to go anyway. <gasps> What's that? You just shot that direction. <gasps> oh, funny. You can shoot those mines. You have unlimited bullets, too. Oh, that's how it works. Slowest bullets ever. Oh, no, you can't shoot the mines. Never mind. I thought you could. No. That doesn't help me at all. Language. I, that doesn't help me at all. Pushing that chest into the laser beam. No, because it doesn't create a, a path. Up. It does what? not make a path. Oh, there it does. Never mind. <laughs> I'm being silly. <laughs> of course it creates a path. I'm being silly. Now you lead the ghost out. Ooh, no. You want the ghost, ghost to is block everything. Hmm. Ooh, you can't get there. You've got... Oh, that can block something. So you definitely want to use that. For something. Probably that long laser beam is what you want to use it for. No, oh, no. That's just coins over there. Don't push it there. No, no. I'm not pushing it there. I have to move it and give myself space. It's that way. Or that way. Then what else can I do with it? Um, you do have no bombs, but maybe you can shoot the wall? I bet I can. Do you think I can shoot the wall and then... Yeah. Oh, watch, Brian. No. Oh. But you have no bombs. Can you push the wall? I have to somehow... Oh, I know. Oh, you have to lead him out on purpose. Ah, uh, to destroy the bomb. Oh, why is he not coming this way now? I don't know. <gasps> No, no we can't. it's too late. You can't push against it. Oh, oh no. no. We're going to have to reset the level. Or you can die. Yeah, I can die. Boom. Explode. No, the trap. I'm right just there. looking at it again. That's all. Hmm. Oh, it only hurts you a tiny bit. It's not that bad. Only that did two things from you. Yeah, one thing. Oh, that's the lasers aren't that bad. Only if you stand in it. Ouch. Ouch. Oh my goodness. Interesting. Yeah, you want the chest there. Maybe next time. Interesting. So you want so, that guy to go up. Up. Which will shoot the laser into the bomb, which will open that whole area. And then you need to push something along that way to push back the laser. There we go. Oh, oh, no. Did it out of order. That's okay. You can walk through the laser. Doesn't hurt you that much. And he's trapped, which is good, too. Kind of? Because you need that key at some point. No, we <gasps> want it over there. Over where? I don't know why I did that. Because the first time I did it, it didn't do that. Yeah, that's weird. 
That is weird. It didn't. It didn't explode. No. Hmm. Oh well. What? <laughs> what? That's super weird. Well, you know what to do this time, at least for the ghost. Does not look like a traditional ghost. Yeah, I did push it right next to the emitter. Maybe that oh, makes a difference. Oh, because there wasn't a laser beam because it was next to it. Interesting. That's why. Thank you, Sotographics. Very subtle difference. I think you want to push it Over next one? to that wall. No, just I pushed that's... it right there. Okay. And then I did this. I think and that worked fine. Yeah. I think eventually you do want to push it against that wall so it explodes so you can get that head and go through those doors. I don't know how I would do that, though. Well, you pushed out a laser beam. Then push it over and then into the laser beam. Push it over while I'm standing in the laser beam? That'll kill me. No, no, no. no. Push it down. Then over. Oh, I see. Don't stand in the laser beam. Well, I would have to stand in the laser beam to move it over. Nope. Push it down. Yes. And then, and then how do I push it to the right? By standing down, in the no, laser beam. Push it two. Push it down two. And then push it over all the way. And then push it back up. With, to, with this thing? No. Uh, touching the laser beam only d deducts one health point. You have 97 Yeah, okay. Them. Yeah, I see what you're it's saying. It's not a problem. It doesn't kill you immediately. Now, it explodes very fast. So I don't know, yeah. So you have to push it and run away really quick. I or, don't know if you can. Or. Oh, that's how you do it. Yes. And you block it far away. That's how you do it. Fotoko came up with it too. You use the block as cover. Yep. And then you put it there. Yep. I don't know if it'll explode it though, because that wall was damaged at the other end. So mm. I'm not sure it oh. will work, but you can try. Yeah. If not, eh. Nothing. Nope. Hmm. I have to get in here. So right. I need that block. block. Yeah. To block the laser beam. I don't think I can move it now. Damn it. Oh, no, it's too far down. Time to die. <laughs> As they say in Blade Runner. Slowly figuring it out, though. Wake up. Time to die. Mm-hmm. Can you pull a block? No, no it's sadly. one of those games. You're stronger at pushing than pulling. You can run faster than the screen moves, which is kind of dangerous. The screen is slower than you can run. Hmm. I don't know what that treasure chest is for. I would just leave it for now and go get that block and bring it back to defeat that laser beam up top. Boulder dash style scrolling, yep. That is correct, nostalgic. This is like a very, very, well, not even that. It's got um, hints of Sokuban to it with this uh, moving of blocks. Except the blocks don't have to go to a specific spot. But I have to deal with that ghost somehow. Yes, you'll have to lead him out out but you have to go past him first he's going to block your way all the way back but you'll just have to take it kind of step by step and look for opportunities to 
um, lead him out, but he can't move till you block him, so you have to get at least past him. Hmm. He doesn't hurt you, it says. He doesn't? No. Really? He just blocks you. Hmm. Hmm. Are we looking for treasures? <laughs> I can't go down. I don't have keys, right? No. No, don't go down yet. You need that key up there. I can't and push other him. And keys. Can I? You can reread can I what push it him? says. I don't no. think you can. I think he just he blocks everything. Where is he? The ghost always follows Laura. Meeting with him does not cause Laura's energy drop. So it doesn't say you don't put, can't push him. Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing you can't. Because otherwise he would... Not he doesn't bother. hurt you, but does yeah. he get in your way? I'm guessing he just gets in your way. You can try right now. Yeah, yeah. can't. He's he's blocked me, so just mm. left, left, left until there's a way to like go around him somehow. Yeah, don't go up. Yeah, because he'll block me. Yeah, don't go down. Go all the way to the left, and there must be some exit or some way to loop around. Hmm. No. Can you shoot him? What? I don't know. Because as soon as you go up, you're blocked. Must be something then. Hmm. There's got to be some way to lure him. We should have lured him into out of the narrow passage. Oh, back out. Yes, you're right. That's what I should have done. I should have done. I I know what you mean. I should have pushed the block and then ran away so he would get lured out. Okay. You could totally do that. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to see what... Yeah, I know, I know. What you mean by that? As soon as the block was pushed past the ghost, draw him out somewhere. Yep. Oh! Draw him back. Oh, I see. Okay. That makes sense. Because then you've got it blocked and you provide the ghost an escape route. Rope a ghost. <laughs> For some reason, that is perfectly fine, so... Because there's no laser. <laughs> no visible laser. So this way. Yeah. And then once it's past him, you move out, then he fills that void. And then you're then you lure him to somewhere that he is yeah, down there. Anywhere there. Sure. Now down. Down. Now you should get stuck and you're safe. That should be all the keys, but you still have to get the heads. I haven't and seen other... any. Oh, yes. Oh, that's right. past the doors, so it's fine. Exits in a convenient spot. We'll That's do one more level. Be. That's the way it should be. You want to do one? They're pretty fun. Pretty fun. I love these kinds of little <laughs> puzzly games, action Puzzle. games. Oh my god. Those are throwers. Throw something that Laura does not like, but sometimes it can be useful. Mm. Treasure chest that blows things up. Oh my god. That's oh, that's very deadly. Oh, this is a very small level. Okay. It's going to be more puzzly than... Uh... Do you have to uh, blow up the... Um... Ah! Key. There. So there's a chest. There's two... Blocks. Blo I bet you can just oh, block them. Block them and then unblock them. Ouch. What? Because it was near me? Maybe. Sensitive. 
Yeah, it's out even near you. Wow. So then, I bet you. There was a key, oh, there's inside. A key inside. Okay. Uh, oh. Now what? 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 <laughs> I have a key. I have to get four things? Maybe run into one of those things at the bottom? Nope. Or shoot them? Now you can't move them. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it exploded. You exploded. And then exploded it is mm -hmm. what I'm getting but then at. You also exploded. So I can't can I use these to push the treasure chest? I bet uh well you you or, So if you, you but you just got a key in the treasure chest, right? Oh, I pushed it oh too gosh. Far. Oh, don't, that opens. don't get that yet. No? No. There they are. So, push it over, what, what, run away. What, what exploded? Uh, the, the treasure chest had bombs in it. Oh, I see. Do you use the blocks to make it safer for you? you uh, you can. Yeah, what you do what? is you, you can put the blocks in front of them but not completely not completely not completely oh give yeah, it yeah. give it a space so that i can use them again yeah there. And then i put this up here I don't get the key because that's that's they're luring you to get the key and then explode it there we go There's, now you can block it again so you there's don't There's only two of them well, you only need two, right? No, I need four. Oh, where are the rest? Oh, everything's on fire. <laughs> everything's on fire. Ow! Ow! Everything's on fire! Help! Hmm. Do I need to put the chest somewhere else? Maybe you have to put the chest in front of them so they explode, and then maybe you get even more, um... Yeah. Treasure box further from the wall. Yeah, maybe. They were in the wall. Though. Oh, maybe. No, were they? No, they weren't in the wall. Oh, they weren't in the they wall. They were around it. Oh, so I'll put it one one away from it then. Yeah, you definitely right. need to block because it will kill you. Just don't move it too close. So like right where it is? Uh, Down one more maybe down even. One. Yeah. Okay. Ouch. You you get hurt just from being there. Oh, oops. There, there we you go. go. Get them fast. Where's the exit? There it is. Good job. Woo! That was cool. Everything is fine. Everything this is, is fine. fine. This is this fine. Is fine. This is fine. Nothing to worry about. Drink your coffee. <laughs> All the grass is on fire. I'm just going to take a look at this one. Oh. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I ran into it. Explodies immediately. See, this one remembers. Don't eat the traps. So there is that. Oh, those are walls that will explode. Walls that explode. And you can't shoot the traps. Snakies. Lots of snakies. Keys. Lots of snakies. Ouch, ouch. Lots of snakies. Oh, what? Yeah, so you have to explode a trap somehow. What? Can you shoot them? What? Oh, I. Nope. Can you lure something to them? Nope. What? <laughs> There's nothing to do. Oh, you're getting really hurt there. Really oh, hurt. That's okay. Just checking things out. Can up. you shoot the. Snakes? Yeah. They turn around. Oh, maybe I can redirect them? Almost dead. You can shoot them. But they're up here. <laughs> that doesn't help. Okay. Oh, the fire! Maybe the fire spreads? Well, we'll wait. Oh, it'll spread down, explode those, but then I'm dead. Because... 
because it'll everything will be on fire. Shoot your pass? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, gotta get away. It's gonna explode that area. Yeah, you want to get. In you have keys to open the doors. Oh, duh. Maybe I shouldn't have shot that. Oh well, they'll explode. Okay. There's a wall. Help! Ah! Ah! Can't open that. Oh! Oh, I can do this. Health! Ah! Get out of here! Ah! Ow! 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 Oh, seven health left! I do have a bomb now. Oh, you have no health. Oh my god. Oh, you do have a bomb. Uh -oh. So that fire did not help you whatsoever. <laughs> did not help. Careful, it's a bomb. It is. Yeah, you may be in trouble. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die in short order here. Ah! I wanted to shoot. No. Didn't mean to do that. What a blast. Ah! <laughs> wow. I'll do this one again. One more. Mm. <laughs> so I think I know how to get keys. Yeah. And I can get bombs. So you need to get the keys first. Up and here. then you need to get the bomb. Not like that. <gasps> oh, that's one way to do it. It does explode them. So. That it does. Well, you... But then it makes fire. No, mm. I think it just made fire. I don't think it necessarily exploded. But there was fire on the wall? Block him, block him. Oh, yeah. Block him with one. That helps. That helps me get back. Um, then there was some health up here. Mm, but you that's have to not, not get killed. Really, what I care about right now. I care about getting these heads and these keys. Watch out! Oof. Now, if I put a bomb here. Yes. It should explode. Just get but out. But it'll make fire too. Yeah, probably. Or not. No. Oh! Hmm. Good. Okay. So I have two bombs, so I can do the other one. Now we get the other head and the key. And there's some more doors, I think. Yeah, there are. More doors. The more door. And I'll push this over. Up here. So those are the more the doors, and there's the one on the other side too. There is, yeah. I think I'm gonna go for the other side. Well, it doesn't mm, matter because I, I need a bit of health. They're not too bad. These creatures, they're just random. Just have to kind of avoid them as much as possible. Oh, they only hit me for one health. It was the fire that really got me last yeah, time? Yeah, the fire. <laughs> the fire was interesting. Fire was bad. Fire bad. There's an old meme. I'm on catch-up screen. Ow. Ow. Ow! Exit is opened! Where is the exit? Ouch, ah. ouch, get! Ow, oh, ouch! Clear the way! No! Duh! At least Catch. they don't take much out of you. No. Where is the exit? Is it up in the middle again? Careful. Could be. Is it over here? Is it up here? I bet here? it's up in the middle. Yeah, I bet it's up by the... There it, oh, is. There it is. I knew it because that was the only area that, that didn't, didn't have something. Oh, God, get... just... there you go. <laughs> just get... get just get, get there! Get, get, get. Level Catch completed! Fire. Woo! Excellent. That was really fun. Really, really, really fun. Oh, baby, light my fire. Exactly. One does not simply walk into more doors. <laughs> Very good. You completed the joke. Very Perfect good. <laughs> execution, nostalgic. Uh, okay.
Okay. Mm. There's something funny with this mold. With the that? material. Look at the surface of it. It's all weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my other one. Ugh. Yeah, Pour it is, a little bit into this is, this is texture. I don't know what's wrong with it. Craziness. Something. I it might be the silicone. Anyway. Ooh, it's soft. Okay. Dungeon Dungeon Adventure. Awesome. Yep. Wonderful game. Loves the black and white aesthetic if, of it. If you love We did complete it. Which was good. That's right. If you like going to diners and playing the kids mazes on the on the um, uh, what do you call it? To get the the pirate treasure at the yeah, end of the maze on your placemat. That is the game for you. Yep. It's all dark mazes and trying to find your way out. So yep. yeah. Well, the mazes mazes reveal themselves, except for the twentieth level. That's true. Which, yeah. Yeah. Um, really fun. Yeah. Really uh, cute. Really fun. Kept really us simple. playing to finish the game. Right so to the it Must end. have been fun. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Major Blink. Also really fun. Yeah. Kind of a, a, a similar concept to other games we've played before. To, uh, similar to the arcade Amadar. Yeah. Um, also some other games that we played. Yeah. Um, Being chased around the, the maze by bad guys. Trying yeah. to complete areas. Like cover them off to cover get to the off. next level. Things chasing after you. Things, things undoing your work. The difficulty ramping up as you go level to level. Yep. More more uh, things chasing you. Great, they move faster. Great colors on it. Really nice Beautiful, colors. Beautiful, yeah. colorful game. Yep. Um, yeah. Kind of the opposite of the other game we played, which was completely monochrome. <laughs> yes. So yeah, so it was, like, it was oh, a really oh, fun great. game. Yep. Um, uh, yeah, highly recommended. It's very arcade-like. Very arcade-like, arcade -like. yeah. 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 Uh, Laura. Awesome. Really fun puzzle. A little bit of action because there is some fast movement that you need to do. Yeah. But it's heavy on the puzzle. Right up my alley. I love yes. games like that. A little puzzle, a little bit of action, dodging things, Moving trying things to work around, your way blocking through things, the maze and through the leading, little... Leading yeah. things here and there. Preventing things to get other things. Yeah. Exploding things. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of... It's really fun. Uh, and it also has a construction set as well if you want to make your own levels. I love that idea. Yeah. Um, it's available on cartridge if you want even more levels there's a downloadable version yeah really really nice uh great graphics as well especially the intro and the story and everything yeah yeah awesome. really well done yeah so three really fun games awesome Again, games today yeah, yeah glad i found them because i just had dungeon adventurer to begin with and i'm like oh there's not no other new 8-bit game since we last played 8-bit mm. um, that we haven't played before. So it's like, oh, let's it's dig nice in the to, archives a nice little bit. It's nice to stumble across one we haven't played before. And there's or so a few many. we haven't played there's before. There's so. so many in the, for the Atari 8-bit that we haven't played. So yeah. Laura, young Laura Croft. Oh, I bet it is. Could be. Um, or as someone said, uh, Pitfall Harry's uh, daughter. daughter. Yeah, yeah, I like that too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, obviously coming up on the show, the next episode <gasps> is, it is a big one. It's an important episode? one. It is the, uh, nominee reveal for the sixth annual Atari homebrew awards. We're going to reveal all of the nominees mm -hmm. in each of the categories, six in each category nice. and open the voting, uh, for, I think it's two weeks. Two, three weeks? Three weeks, I think. No, two and a half. Something like that. I don't know. Long enough, mm -hmm. let's say. More than long enough. Most people usually vote within the first week. Um, but we just like to extend it longer just in case. Because people, some people like to really dive in deep or haven't played a lot of the games. Yes. Some people have played all the games and just go, oh yeah, that one's my favorite, 100%. Some people need to, you know, play through them. And some people vote in all the categories. And there's... 23 votable categories plus the uh, Lifetime Achievement yes. Award, which is voted on by the nomination committee. That's awesome. So 23 categories. If you have all the different systems, you have to play a lot of games if you haven't played all the games. So uh, that happens on Friday. Yes. The show is at Yay. noon after we announce all the nominees. Then we open the voting. And... For that week, two weeks, we're going to be playing through all the games, the nominated games, as per usual. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start off with the 2600 games and work our way through all the platforms. Jaguar, Lynx, 2600, 
5200, 7800. All the great games that we get bit. to play them all. Yes, yes. It's, it is a really fun time. We get to play all of these absolutely stunning, amazing games. Mm -hmm. One th uh, common thing of Laura and Demo's quest and some other games is the dancing objects. Yeah. That's true. Uh, I, I was very confused by Demo's quest, but we'd have to play it again because there's so many things on the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything's yeah. animated. I'm like, oh, it's overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. That's what Vitoka was saying. Oh, yeah, too much Too much animation, animation makes me feel sick. This yeah. one's a little bit less animated than Demo's quest. Demo's yeah. quest is like, blah, blah, everything. The whole screen is moving. Well, it remind. I mean, I loved uh, Star... What is it? Um, not Star Quest. What am I <laughs> want to say? Not Star Craft. Uh, no, no. Star Tropics. Star Tropics. Thank you. Lots of moving things. Uh, a there. lot of moving things. More actiony and shooting, but kind of the same thing where puzzle. you have puzzles and little things you have to solve. So uh, Laura reminded me of that a lot, actually. Yeah. So there's some similarities. It's not screen by screen. That's more continuous, you know, room to room kind of a Yeah, game, Star Tropics was a flip screen game. Flip screen game. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but still, there's <clears throat> there's a little bit of Laura that sort of reminded me of that. <laughs> Need to have reduced motion options in games, much as we do with modern. Yeah, no systems. kidding. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. Please don't animate that. No, please, please. <laughs> too yeah. much. Too much. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll be uh, going through all the nominees until leading right up to the sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. I can't believe it's already here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's on February twenty fourth, the big event of the year. We're gonna be uh, we we'll have on all the winners mm. accepting their awards live on the show uh we're gonna have you there we're gonna have me Yay. there we're gonna have darcy we're gonna have erlen we're gonna have the cats we we'll put cats. them in their bow ties they'll be in their suits yeah oh they'll be adorable cat suits. business they'll, cats they'll yeah hate it they, business cats hate it. yeah yeah business cat mode <laughs> they will hate it so much but you know, we put it on. We put usually put on their bow ties well beforehand. That's true. So they're like, uh, they're just they've forgotten. They're, they're there. resigned to it at that yeah. point. <laughs> then, then you can like pick them up and show yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> put, put up odds on how long the bow ties stay on. No, they can't get them they off. They can't get those off. Hats gone. Hats, yeah. Forget bow ties, that. no. No, no. They can't get those. They're off. basically a collar. They're like, uh, uh, oh, fine. <laughs> I guess I'll be cute. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Uh, yep, it starts up. Uh, awards Awards month Yay. is February. Awards month, yeah. That's it really true. is awards month. That's true. Because we do it for the whole month, really. Uh, lots of fun. Uh, but we'll be doing After Darks, and we might even throw in, um, if there's like some games that come out mm. during that time, we might do extra shows or something like that. Don't know. Usually we just postpone everything till afterwards. But if there's like, yes. um, like a premiere, Oh yeah, might... if something gets released. Yeah, yeah if something sure. gets released as an exclusive, <laughs> then yeah, we would do a show probably. But if it's not exclusive, we will just counter program to, to the, the super vowel. vowel. Yes, wonderful, yes. one hundred percent. I think the they overlap a little bit the Venn diagram, <laughs> That's but true. mostly it's, it's fine. Time. Oh, oh one, one last more. one last pets and bets. Pets and bets or puss and bets. Pets and bets. Well, we don't really pet the cats. Well, I pet the cats. There we go. Pet the cats. All right, just just as you're all about to run just out of the room, in time. time for another betting session. Let's see if those treats earlier have either sped up or slowed down Atari even more. But we'll yeah, see. usually it's the catnip. That it is the catnip. That enhances or dehances dehances Sprite or enhances yeah. Atari. Nice, nice, nice. So let's hi, 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 hi. bring up cute. Oh yes, the voting. Are you, ready? are you ready? Are you cats ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, everyone's going Sprite 3 Plus oh right off God. the bat. Oh. Yeah, are you going to eat? But if everybody goes Sprite 3 Plus, that leaves some room for some some quick, tiny bets on the other one. Everyone's going Sprite. I know, Atari, you've got to step up your game. you got to do it. you got to get better. you got to do it. Okay. You go Party time for kittens. Party time for kittens. <laughs> Well, there is Do you a want to give it to time. them really There's quickly while little, everyone's betting? We'll little put a bit of time. Sprinkle a little on the ground. Just give them a little bit of a... There you go. We'll get them high yep. while okay. you guys are, are placing your yeah, bets. Look. Spray togging it. Come on. Give, give some to it. Oh, there. I have to get the robot vacuum back in oh, here yeah. now. <laughs> Who triggered that? Oh my goodness, Vitoko wants. Thank you, Vitoko. Vitoko wants to see. rig the bet. <laughs> Rigging the bet. Oh my! 
The yeah. athletes are cheering. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting hyped do up. Do they trigger the treat ball for the treat? They got the treat ball earlier, so yeah, I don't think we can do treats and treat, do ball the treat ball at the same time. Okay, this is all dumped out. So. Oh, they're not performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> they have the exact opposite. I think the they're exact opposite. performance dehancing de for Sprite. Look at him. Atari can handle his, uh, his nip without any problems. Yeah, I'll give those to you. So are we done? Oh. Couple 20 seconds. seconds just enough time for these cats to roll around a bit i'm quite i'm quite in intrigued to see how this goes like they're fully on catnip right yeah now. like like just let the catnip sink <laughs> We've in never done this before just enough to see how that affects their performance so yeah oh what was that he's smacking yeah what is happening oh okay it is all is it the, time all the bases are covered for bets oh this i'm i'm intrigued i want to see what's what going on that's right is it <laughs> Attacking yeah. Atari. Okay, you ready? Are you actually going to line up at the gate? Are you ready for... Oh, there. <laughs> there are a couple. You get confused. Who's that? Oh, that was Sprite. They're very confused. What's Hit the going? bell. Hit, Hit the, the bell. bell. How high are you? Oh, they're hitting each other's <laughs> bells, but that's, that's fine. That's fine, as long as somebody hits a bell. Oh. Uh oh this is, ha this is affecting Sprite. Oh, it is. Oh, oh I heard it. that. Oh, hit the bell. Hit it again. Hit it again. No. Oh. Harder. Oh no. oh, no. Hit it again. Hit it, baby. Hit oh, it. Oh, come on. Smack it. Smack it. Come on. Hit the bell. Hit it. Oh, there oh, we go. Double hit. Oh. Oh. Uh, sprite, four to two. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't sprite. know if this is changing anything. No, I think that needs to sink in a little bit more. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, Atari. Oh. There you go. It's oh, making them no. hit the wrong bells. Yeah. They looked at you saying, huh, oh, what are these things? They were a little bit stunned at, be at the beginning. There oh. you go. Oh, Atari's catching up. Four to say no. No, no. Sprite's Sprite is, has a three point solidly lead. Solidly in the lead. Keep hit, hit the bell, buddy. Keep going. Hit the bell. No, you missed it. No, The actual soft. bell. No. Not the ground. Not the ground in front of the bell. Oh, there we go. Eight five, it's almost over. Oh my goodness! Sprite is not affected by this whatsoever. He's not <laughs> slowed down. I think we have to leave a bit of time. Oh, he's licking his paw. He's a little bit distracted. Oh, Atari's back. <laughs> oh, oh, double hit! Exact same time. It is now game point. Nine oh to my six. goodness! Sprite is still in the three plus. Oh, oh harder! Can You're Atari... having such One trouble more. today. One more. No, oh, come on, Atari. Thwart his three plus, oh. and he's done it. He has thwarted the three. Oh, uh, he could still get it. He, but uh, he's a little distracted. I won't say his name because he will. No. He'll go for it if he hears it. And oh, it's over. Three no. plus. Three plus for Sprite. Nothing changed. I think we need a bit of lag. Yeah, I think the so. The catnip crash. That's yeah. what we need. That will Comfortably we need. numb. <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> RC70? No, who who, who got uh, th Sprite 3 Plus? RC70 oh, we'll in find there? Out. All right. Sprite 3 Plus. And the big winner for Sprite 3 Plus is RC70. Hey, Gets all of it. it all. Cleans, Cleans up. Cleans sweet. up. 3,000 points for RC70. Wow. The Toko tried to throw him off his game. He thought, oh, this will give Atari an advantage, <laughs> but it didn't. No. The sprite's still no, Yeah, I think you really need to hit the catnip like a, like 10 to 15 minutes yeah, before you play. That's, that's the magic zone, I, I think. Mean, I mean, I do think Sprite was a little He's stunned a little in there. He was looking at me like... Yeah, are, you were the only 3+. That's what, what, what it says. What are we doing again? What are we doing? Yeah, 3,000. Yeah. 3, yeah, all of it went to you. All of the return ratio, very nice. People didn't think that uh, Sprite was going <sighs> to pull it off again. I feel like, Atari, you need you need to make a comeback here. We need to stage a comeback. We need to practice a little. Yeah, we need to make it more even. There's lots of catnip for you to eat off the ground, too. <laughs> so much catnip. So much catnip on the ground. On hold. But Bastard. something you're, you're trying to get? Yeah, my Criterion movies. Oh. Weird. Anyway. I'm okay, like, he'll come to her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thanks for hanging out yes, with us. Yes, thank you. Ooh, Who actually, is in the chat? Who is in the chat? Uh, let's see if we can find a uh, nice person to uh, okay. point you all towards. 
before we do that. There goes my rent money, says Jen. Oh man, if they if they let you pay your rent in zero page homebrew uh, bits, then wow, uh, they're quite it's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, I think we'll. Uh, oh, I'm good. Let's go for somebody who doesn't have many many viewers. Has to be something relatable, like. Yeah, and this is all retro stuff. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys want? You want Mega Man or you want Legend of Zelda? We're gonna go Legend of Zelda, I think. Yes. Did I do that right? Is that gonna work? Oh, no. Oh yeah, it's raid. I'm going to bed. Atari <laughs> beer pong is fun. Is that are they streaming right now? Uh dear Atari beer pong? Hmm. Oh, yeah, they are. What is that? Dungeon Atari ST. Well, we'll send you all over there then. Atari Beer Pong. Thank you for the suggestion. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so thank you for hanging out with us. Vitoko, RC70, Nostalgia, Nostalgic, Chitlila, our, uh, Danny C, Chalstony Mao. Vitoko, Vitoko Rendered Ghost. 8 bit Poet. Pseudographics. Gamma Dev. DVVD Double Down. Very nice. Chalstony Mao. Cyrano. Carl G. Miss Command. Ivory Tower Collections. Woo. Aldefer. Excellent. And we're like looping back to the top. And everybody else who Yay! was Thank hanging you. out with us. Uh, we'll see you on Friday for the nomination mm -hmm. reveal and the voting. So um, have a great week. And yes. we will see you soon. Yes. Bye-bye, everyone.